Well, good hump day to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome you to my home in the sticks. If you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you're returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, it's probably going to be something. Thank you for coming back. But I'm here to tell you in East Central Mississippi, it is beautiful. I mean beautiful. It's about 70 degrees. It's just uh, wonderful to be outside. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is my brother Rob, the sapper gardener, over at Essayon's Family Garden, included me in a tag. So give me a second, and we finna get our tag on. <laughs> All right, you and y'all. The tag that uh, Rob the Sapper Gardener included me in on is am I a homesteader? Well, I'm here to tell you, uh, homesteading is just a, just a, the term in itself is real broad. Basically, in layman terms, homesteading is just living a life of self-sufficiency. Nothing more, nothing less. I've always used the term that I was a half-steader and the reason why I use that term is I, I have a full-time job and when I leave work, I come home, I work at my home place. I don't really call it my homestead, I just call it my home place, but hey, it's a homestead. But I, I have animals in a, in a garden, uh, animals, goats, chickens, horses, uh, cash money. And I just, I do my thing when I get off of work. And it's, I think it's, it's a mindset is what it is. Homesteading is just not for everybody. You either love it or you hate it. And the reason why I say that is I have several friends that were, were brought up in the homesteading lifestyle. I mean, they were homeschooled. Uh, they, they worked on a farm uh, from sun up to sundown. And as they got older, it was like, ah, this isn't the life for me but and probably moved on to city life. And the few that I know are, are quite successful uh, living in the city and, and doing what they do. But on the other hand, you have someone like me that was, that was raised in the city. And I'm gonna say that I have a lot of family that uh, were showing sure off in the homesteading. They had several, several acres of land, hundreds of acres of land, they had uh, Real, real big gardens, uh, grew corn, cotton, things of that nature, soybeans. So I was, I, I grew up around it my whole life, but I lived in the city. Uh, as I got older and after Hurricane Katrina, I moved to Mississippi and I bought my home place. And I'm here to tell you, I, I just, I won't look back because this is a lifestyle that I just, I thoroughly enjoy. Now, when it comes to, to am I a homesteader uh, on a homestead, uh, yes and no. Uh, I, I really enjoy uh, living or trying to live a self-sufficient life, growing my own stuff, um, everything that I could eat, you know, I grow if I can. I don't like going to uh, the Walmart or a grocery store to buy something that I can grow. I can't tell you the last time that I even went to the store to buy eggs because I have hens that lay me eggs. So I guess if a person uh, that grows their own food, uh, has their own livestock, maybe rabbits, chickens, things of that nature, and they can, they can provide for themselves or their family, yeah, by all means, you're probably a homesteader. So Dan's uh, probably a homesteader in the closet, so to speak. That's why I call myself a half-steader because I, I just, I work a full-time job and I come home and I tend to my animals in my garden and I eat everything that I grow and I show and I fry all the eggs that my hens give me. Now one day will I retire and move into a showing off full-blown homesteading uh, lifestyle? I probably will and again, when you think of homesteading, you, you think of folks that um, maybe they're retired or maybe they um, acquired a, a ton of land and don't have to be a ton of land. It could be a small amount of land, but something that their family uh, passed down to them uh, as the, the, the family being a homesteading family. 
and just uh, folks took it up and continued that lifestyle on. So it's homesteading is just a, a showing off broad topic and it's, it's a mindset and it's, it's something that you have to have in your heart to do because I'm here to tell you uh, homesteading is not easy. It requires a lot of work and I mean a ton of work sun up to sun down type work. So I guess uh, I will always be considered, I consider myself to be a half stutter, but hey, maybe one day down the road, I'll be able to move into a full homestead lifestyle where all I do is work on at the home place or my homestead. Y'all, I hope everybody is having a sure enough good Wednesday and I hope y'all having a safe Wednesday. Oh, Dan's got work to do around here. Spring is just, it's here. Got stuff to, just stuff to do. If you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up. They help. If you haven't subscribed to the Homeless Sticks channel, Lord mercy, y'all need to come on over and give me a look because I'm always doing stuff. Really? With that being said, you know what's coming. Dan Refrey showing off, always gonna say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. And I mean nobody. You sure enough get your shine on. It's important. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.